Hello everybody, my name is Molly and welcome to The Mill. Today on The Mill, I'm going to be talking about the three latest Rolling Realms promos that you could find at Gen Con this year if you went, but also are available now on the Stonemeyer website. Those three realms are Lost Ruins of Arnok, Millennium Blades, and Roleplayer. I'm going to switch my view to the tabletop. I'll explain the realms, play one mock round with all three, and let you know what I think about them. See you on the table in a second. Okay, everyone, we're going to um, do one mock round of the new realms, but before that, I'm just going to do a little description of them before we play. So Millennium Blades here has numbers 0 to 9, and we will spend numbers modified by coins or two pumpkins to color in these numbers and gain the benefits below. Now this might seem like you're spending a lot, considering a 9 would need at least three modifications of a 6, but if you see here, every number applied gives a dice in return. So I haven't played this one yet, but I think... It's going to be an interesting little puzzle, earning so many dice and activating all three realms at once. Excited to give that one a go. Role player. This is one of my favorite board games, and it is use a number to move an unfilled orthogonally adjacent circle. So we're going to move left on ones, down on fours, right on threes, up on twos, and then fives and sixes are wild. And this is like the alignment track of a D&D character. So I guess in Rolling Realms, this we're going to span all the alignments in one big spiral. I think it's going to be if you get all the um, stars in this realm. Lost Ruins of Arnak. This is mimicking the research track. We will spend a number and also the higher up ones here you see use a resource as well to fill in that icons box. And then we gain a benefit from the side. So this one you can choose to get more resources. But you have to um, forego stars in order to do that. And when you're climbing, the magnifying glass always has to go ahead of the book. Which is just like Lost Ruins of Arnak. You have to scout before you can research. So those are those three. How I understand them. And um, let's... Let's give him a go. Let's turn this around so it's not upside down. Um, six and a three. So I am going to spend my three. Let's just start off going this way in role player and get one of each resource. I'm going to quickly grab a different marker. You can tell I play this game a lot. My markers are starting to wear out. So my three I did in role player. For the six, let's go ahead and modify it with this one coin I earned and get a seven out of the way in Millennium Blades, which is going to earn me a coin, and that's going to earn me a four dice, which I will use to climb my book up in Lost Ruins of Arnak, and I'm going to take a coin because I feel like I'm going to use these coins in Millennium Blades a lot. I really like in all three of these rounds so far. Double fives. Double fives. So, let's go ahead and use a five to go to the evil let me keep circling before I to go evil in role player for a star and a pumpkin and then we'll use the other five in millennium blades let's make it let's make it a, a six and earn ourselves a pumpkin and a two dice or in a one dice we'll bring the book up here take a pumpkin because of millennium blades 
I want punk coins first of all, then pumpkins. I'm caring about hearts a little bit less. Just gonna color those in from the faded dice a bit. Double twos for the third roll. Okay. I am going to, I need to go, I need ones. All right, I'm going to put a two in Millennium Blades. I'm going to earn myself a coin and a five dice. I'm going to use the five dice to go this way for two pumpkins. And then I am going to spend two pumpkins to make one of my twos a three. Bring my magnifying glass up here. Oh, I have to spend a heart as well. And I'm going to take a star. It's hard for me to give up the stars ever in a realm. So two there, earned a five for there, changed my two to a three. These realms are tricky. I can see that if I roll wrong, I get stuck. A five and a two. Five and a two. Let's see here. I'm going to bring my book up here with a five, get a star and a heart. And then this pesky two, I may as well May as well spend two pumpkins to make it a three. Which gives me a coin and a four dice. So this is tricky because I don't really need that dice. I'll turn it into another coin. I have to buy an eight and a nine here sometime. Um, so five up there, two there, um, and I'm not taking any of the smart numbers in the lending blades yet, but I'm hoping just to finish it. I'm really intrigued by this, all three of these realms. A two and a three. Not my favorite rolls. Not what I was hoping for. But, let's see what I can do here. I'm going to use one coin. I'm going to make a one here. Start trucking along. And then I still have my two and my three. So, I may as well use one coin to make my two a one, which is a bit silly of me, but it earns me a pumpkin so that the six I earned and the three I half can both be used in Lost Ruins of Arnak because I want to put the two up here for a star and a coin and then I'll have to spend three pumpkins to move this book up but I think it's worth it because I've been a little stuck there and I'll get a star there um,
I do need to start actually earning stars in Millennium Blades here, though. I'm just going to roll, roll the perfect rolls. Double twos, at least twos are what I needed in role player. So let's start going to the good side and racking some coins. And then we may as well use the two here for a star. Paying a pumpkin I don't have. All right, let's undo that, rewind time. Let's just This might be silly, but I'm gonna spend three coins to make the two a five, which gives me a pumpkin and a two dice. And I'll spend the two dice now for the star here. Um I am yet to earn any stars in Millennium Blades, though. Two and a four. Um, I'm thankful for this, too. I'm going to get a heart and a star. And then the four. Four will earn me a three dice, but I want to save that for later because I want to go chaotic with that. So I think I'll use this four and a heart to finish Lost Rooms of Arnok. So that room's done at least. Any Millennium Blades dice I earn now should be an extra resource. But also, I only have two rolls left. Um, six and a four. So, we are going to put the four here for a star, yay. And a three dice, which is great. Let's do the heart. And then the six I cannot use, so I'll turn it into a pumpkin for a nice final round. I guess I have Millennium Blades I'm going to want a zero. So a six and a three. Well this is the three goes here and I finished role player. That was a really fun spiral like I hope. These two went, went well for me unless I played them wrong. Millennium Blades I have the six dice, and I could, I think all I want to do is sell the six dice for one resource, create a one dice, and then modify the one to a zero, which gives me a single star and a dice, which I'm done the other rounds, so I'll turn into a resource. And then completed row. So I only got three stars there, but finish these two. So 15 stars, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 15.8. I've never, never often turn die rolls into resources, but, um, with Millennium Blades. It's a new little puzzle. So there you have it. I'm going to show you close up. I finished my research track in Lost Ruins of Arnok. Um, picked my stuff. Role player, I earned six stars and my character has ended 
chaotic good. So I'm gonna try a different spiral next time I play that. And Millennium Blades, I just finished one row and I missed the eight and nine star along the way. But there you go. With a single round of 15.8. I quite liked all three of these rounds. And again, these rounds were available at Gen Con this year. But you can get them now on the Stonemeyer site. Along with these realms was the Risky Rewards Mini Expansion. Which I'm going to talk about in my next video. I thought about adding it with this. But it's a really cool little mini expansion. And I think it deserved its own video. Um, that's it for me at the mill. Um, thank you, everybody. Bye.